From different parts of the world, in different traditions and folklores, we have heard about different types of spirits. Ancient civilizations have also talked about such terrifying spirits whose existence is present with us, but they are related to some other world. Similarly, various stories of terrifying spirits are famous in Southeast Asia. Among them, Pontianak is the most famous, a terrifying spirit or ghostly soul which is famous for killing people. In today's video, we will know the whole secret of Pontianak, and we will see what is the secret of Pontianak's origin in southeastern folklores, and what are the true experiences of people who have been with Pontianak. Friends in Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, and Southern Thailand, the existence of Pontianak is still present. The word Ponti means tree, and Anak means child. With this word, we understand that Pontianak is related to trees, plants, and children. But how? In Indonesian folklore, we get information about the origin of Pontianak. It is said that there were some women in ancient times whose death was painful while giving birth to children. Such women's spirits became Pontianaks. In India, such spirits are called witches. Pontianaks are actually female vampires which attract men, children, and weak souls by taking the form of beautiful women. They injure men and children with their nails and drink their blood, and they also eat their organs. In Indonesia, people are most afraid of Pontianak. In southeastern cultures, swamps and jungles are considered dangerous places because Pontianaks make their nest in such places. Today, the city named Pontianak is the most populated in Indonesia. But the construction of this city is closely related to Pontianak. It is said that between 1771 and 1801, Sayarif Abdur Rahman Al Qadri decided to build a trading post in this area of Indonesia. This area was a swamp in the middle of the jungle at that time. And the locals had also warned them about the existence of Pontianaks here. Soon, Al Qadri and his labors faced Pontianaks. Al Qadri attacked the cannonballs at the site of Pontianak in the swamps and destroyed it. He cut down the dense jungle there and made a mosque and a trading post in that area with those woods. Because of this, the population there began to increase and it became a city. It was named Pontianak, and al Qadri was made the first sultan here. The city of Pontianak was actually located on the delta of the Kapuas River, and that's why ships and pirates used to come and go here. These pirates were the ones who made the stories of Pontianak famous all over the world. Such spirits are described in Hinduism, Buddhism, and animism. Especially in animism, it was believed from the beginning that everything has a spirit, whether it is living or non-living. They also believed that our world and the universe are actually connected. And it is common for such creatures to exist in our world. Animism has been influenced in Malay culture from the beginning. And that's why everyone there knows about vengeful spirits like Pontianak. The existence of Pontianaks in Indonesian and Malaysian films is still there. And the main character of most of the nightmares of the people living there is Pontianak. It is said that the smell of drying clothes attracts Pontianak. That's why the people there never leave their clothes outside to dry at night. Pontianaks can also do powerful black magic on women. And their presence can be felt by the smell of rotten meat. There is also such a belief about them that Pontianaks can become a very beautiful and perfect housewife if a man puts a nail in her neck. There are some such stories where people had kept Pontianak as their wife. But when the nail came out by mistake during the breakup, she also took out the organs of those men and killed them. Pontianaks have the power to shapeshift and be invisible at will, which they often use. If we talk about Singapore, the sightings of Pontianaks are common here. But there are five special places in this area where Pontianaks have often been seen. Singapore's Canteridge Park is one of the most haunted places there. Almost every person who has been to this area at night has had some supernatural experience, like the strange sounds and the appearance of light orbs. Most of these people see a woman roaming near the river, which is actually Pontianak. The MRT station located in Novena, Singapore, 
is the second area where Pontianic sightings have been the most. This is when this station was not even built. Pontianic used to live on a tree here. After the tree was cut, she now roams in this area from 8 a.m. to morning, and whoever goes to this area at night faces Pontianic. The third place is Jalan Bahar bus stop, which is located in the out area. Taxi drivers passing through here do not stop their cars in this area at night because it has happened many times when a woman stopped a taxi. And after sitting in the car, she found out that she was a Pontianic. The fourth place is Clementi Woods in Singapore. And near it is the West Coast Park where their sightings are common. And the fifth place is the Yellow Lighthouse in the East Coast Park of Singapore. It is said that a woman was brutally murdered here. Since then, she has been wandering in this area as Pontianak. And this area is quite famous in Ghost Hunters because you can clearly feel her presence here. It is also believed in Malaysia that if any man is out of the house at night, then he should not look at any beautiful woman directly. Because often Pontianak comes out alone at night in the form of beautiful women. If someone is attracted to them and touches them, then their nails come out immediately and they drink the blood of that person. In a school in the northeastern state of Malaysia from the year 2016 to 2019, about 39 students reported sightings of Pontianak. Someone saw a woman's soul with a scary face, then someone's body was seized by the soul. These incidents were also reported in the media, and they were also printed in the newspaper. A forest officer living in Malaysia shared his story. That officer was in search of hunters near the swamps in the jungle at night. Then suddenly he saw a very beautiful girl who was hiding behind the trees. The girl smiled at the officer and moved away a little. The officer followed her. Then he got very close to the girl. He said that the girl was wearing a cheap cotton dress, which is often worn by the hunter's wives in the jungles of Malaysia. But as soon as the officer looked into the girl's eyes, those eyes were completely red, and the girl had a strange, scary smile on her face. He got very scared and started running away. The girl followed him a little, but the officer managed to save his life. He said that the girl's feet were also backside, and this is also a sign of Pontianak. Maybe the officer didn't touch the girl, that's why he survived. In southeastern culture, the stories of Pontianaks are still common, and often people face them. That's all for today's episode. If you liked the episode, then support us by liking it as much as possible. Do give your opinion about Pontianak in the comment box. And if you are new, then you can also subscribe to our channel. We will see you soon with a new video. Thank you.